Hello there. So wanted to record a, uh, a bit of a special video for you today after uh, the events of yesterday and the effect that that had on the markets. I had lots of email and people asking me, Harvey, what's going on? Is it all finished for day trading? Is there any money to be left? Any money left to be made in the markets? What are we going to do? And uh, I wanted to take a little bit of time to address those questions. So, as I say, a little bit of a different kind of video for you today, not a live video, partly because all of this happened after most of the uh, the market session was over, and also because, to be honest, there's actually so much money to be made uh, in these current conditions that I'm a little bit too busy profiting from the situation and making money to record a live video at the same time. As I've mentioned before, recording a video uh, takes some extra concentration and it means that I have to reduce the size of my trades and there are some other limitations imposed technical limitations imposed on me when I'm recording videos which means that I can't trade the size I would normally trade and it does cost me money so um, I wanted to still make a video for you and show you how you can profit from the current situation but it won't be a live video Okay, so anyway, as I say, the biggest question that uh, people have been asking me is what happens now? Is is day trading finished? And the answer to that is most definitely not. And in this video, I'm going to show you why that's the case. So here's what happened to the Dow Jones yesterday, uh, on Monday the 29th of September 2008. Uh, on the day that Congress uh, voted against the Paulson plan, the bailout of the banks. And I think it's fairly obvious at what point uh, the announcement was made and we can see the effect that that had on the market with the Dow tumbling and uh, if we have a look at the Nasdaq index we can see pretty much the same thing slightly less pronounced on the Nasdaq but uh, direction there pretty clear so on the indices as I say as soon as the announcement came out market tumbled let's have a look at one of the component stocks of the Nasdaq this is Apple. Uh, anyone who watches many of my videos will know this is a personal favourite of mine, very volatile stock and uh, one that I find uh, quite challenging to trade but very profitable. So as we can see at uh, the same time that the announcement was made, obviously big drop, uh, what's that, $110, 100, about $112 down to around $100, so $12. Uh, that drop by which is a, a huge amount of money by any uh, by any measure but what I want to show you is that after the drop on the uh, right hand side of the chart here towards the end of the day there was a bounce now it didn't recover all of its price but it recovered easily half of, uh, of that drop so just in this one stock alone even though it did drop off there was uh, definitely opportunity here to profit later on in the day. Uh, there was a couple of ways you could have done this. There was a fairly straightforward double bottom pattern there that you could have uh, could have traded. And uh, so you, maybe you could have gone along at this point, taken a little bit out of the market there. Uh, another way you could have traded this. Uh, got a very nice straightforward... Oh, that didn't come out very well, did it? Let's try that again. Very nice trend line break combined with the double bottom or you could look at the double bottom this way or you could look at that as an ascending triangle uh, either way there's a number of ways you could have traded this and taken a little bit of money out of out of apple but not a particularly easy stock to uh, to profit from yesterday i will grant you that let's have a look at another one this is uh, goldman sachs this one is a nicey stock and again we can see same story here a uh, big drop off from around 130 down to below 115 so 15 dollar drop more than 15 dollar drop on that huge amount of money lost but again uh, we can see quite clearly double bottom and then up it goes got a bounce again so again there's money to be made on this but again not particularly easy stock to trade so let's have a look at uh, what else was going on in the market at the same time and why it's so important to understand that uh, whatever happens in the market there is always money to be made. This is AVX trading on the NICE. And here we can see that despite what was going on not everything was falling and, and this is such an important point. Whatever happens 
when money comes out of some stocks, it's got to go somewhere. Stocks fall uh, in the case of, for example, back here on Goldman, because they're being sold off and that forces the price down. And when price drops like this, it's because it's being sold off in vast, vast numbers. You can see on the volume here, volume picking up as the uh, as the stock is dropping in price. So lots of stock being sold, forcing the price down. That means as the stock's being sold, the people that are selling those stocks are getting money back into their account, their trading account. Now, when it's dropping like this, it's large institutions, hedge funds, pension funds, that kind of thing, what's, uh, what's selling in that kind of volume to force the price down that much that quickly but these pension funds have got to put their money back somewhere they're not just going to sit on it it's not doing anything for them in the bank they've got to try and recover some of that loss that they've taken some of the hit that they've taken on that so they're looking for other opportunities now obviously there's gold and there's bonds but uh, they have very limited upside uh, no doubt that uh, there is money to be made in those instruments but uh, you have to remember that a lot of these funds are restricted in what they can and can't trade and they have to trade in stocks so all of this money that's come out of Goldman that's come out of Apple that's come out of the other stocks it has to go somewhere and that means that there's always something going up in price and uh, if we look at this chart of ABX you can see well there's a couple of opportunities here uh, there was a uh, some very nice money to be made in the early session of the morning uh, nice trade getting in around about 37.50 here and that went out up to 38.50 so there was uh, potentially a thousand dollars profit to be made just in that 10 minutes there alone in the morning session uh, trading a thousand shares and then we went on along and traded in uh, pretty much for range dropped off a bit dropped off a bit more got a bit of a downtrend developing here but uh, around the same time that the announcement was made what caused those other stocks to drop off this one shot up so as you can see this is money coming out of other stocks and going into AVX and uh, lots and lots of money to be made here uh, how could you have tra traded this well as I say you've got that fairly clear trend line break around here around 37.50 uh, another way you could have looked at it was uh, engulfing candle pattern if uh, candle patterns are your kind of thing uh, we've also got a, uh, a range breakout as we were trading in this very narrow range so depending on your strategy there are a number of different signals what we could have used to get into this stop and uh, to exit well again I mean you've got nice uh, support there you could have come out when that was broken around this point $39 uh, you could have come out on a break of this moving average which would have been my preference uh, or you could just have stayed in until the end of the market uh, when the market closed but either way whatever way you traded it